She's little in stature, but tall and resilient. A Covington girl is back home for this Thanksgiving after going through something many adults haven't experienced. Yeah, tonight, a special report. Sabrina Wilson explores Ava's remarkable journey. On a warm November morning, you ready? In John Slidell Park it is an amazing event, and I'm really happy to have everyone together today. They were drawn here by a cause. What you want, baby? And driven by resolve. It's gonna be a little bumpy. Before long, they're off. A walk for some, a ride for others. It's the Great Strides event, and along the trail. Ava, you want to get out and walk? Want to get out and walk? She does. Go, Ava. Go, Ava. Ava Thomas personifies what it means to thrive. Go, 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 go. <laughs> At times. Wait. Ava. Wait. All right, who's going to run and catch up? Outpacing her parents, John and Jennifer Thomas. You are super fast. Yeah. Yeah. Got it? I'll hold it. All right. In this park and beyond, Ava's come a long way. This is video we aired in August 2022 of her in the hospital. At three weeks old from her newborn screening, the results came back. Um, we had her tested um, at a pulmonary clinic. They did a sweat test and determined that she did have cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a disease that causes thick, sticky mucus to build up in organs like the lungs. Was it scary to hear that diagnosis? Yes. yes. Definitely. Last year, Ava CF progressed. Very quickly. She turned four um, on April 3rd, 2022, and she got admitted to St. Tammany Hospital on April 23rd with low oxygen sats, and she wasn't um, able to breathe well. And then they, um, they ended up intubating her two days after she was admitted. From there, Ava was transferred to Children's Hospital in New Orleans. And we were there for a week with the expectations of being coming off the ventilator by the end of the week and going home. Um, but that didn't happen. They said, you're going to Texas to be, your daughter's going to be put on ECMO for, and evaluated for a possible lung transplant. It was a shock because we were expected to be home at the end of the week. She had pneumonia and with her having CF, her body just couldn't fight it off. From Children's Hospital, Ava was flown to Texas Children's Hospital in Houston. John and I went home to get our stuff, and that was the longest drive that we took to go to finally be able to see her in the hospital. At any point, were you angry and asking, why our little girl? Yes. Many times. November 2022, Ava's situation became dire. Two of the doctors called us into a conference room to have a conversation. The conversation was not one that we wanted to hear. That if she was not to receive lung soon, what other options do we have? They would need to take the ECMO cannula out, which was in her right um, side of her neck. If they took that out, would she be able to uh, survive off of it for that long enough for them to replace another one and that she would not have been? That was on a Friday, but on Sunday. I said, hey, we got lungs for Ava, and we've accepted them, and Ava's getting a set of lungs tomorrow. Still, worry didn't vanish. Because it's been such a long year. I was like, please, Lord, don't let this be a dry run. It wasn't. On November 28, 2022, Ava headed to surgery and received a double lung transplant. Her parents got to see her the next day. Relief. We ran. <laughs> we, ran uh, we ran down the hall into her room. Um, yeah, very relieved. Ava's determination discernible. Yeah, that was the first time she sat up, yes. um, gave us a thumbs up after surgery. And we're just thankful for the donor family for making that sacrifice to save our 
our daughter because I know that was hard. Ava broke Texas children's record for time on ECMO. Dr. David Marino McNeil is a pediatric pulmonologist there. She has been the longest ECMO run, which is the heart lung machine that we use to keep patients alive when they're uh, their lungs are not working. She remained on ECMO for 207 days, waiting for the transplant. After surgery, Ava remained hospitalized for months. That was her physical therapy after she had her transplant. She was in bed for so long that her body was a little contracted. Her legs were atrophied. They kept her spirits up. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. And then in oh, March... love you. Oh, Doctors discharge Ava. <laughs> After a brave and long journey. April 23rd of 2022 to March 6th of 2023, she was in the hospital. Still, Ava couldn't leave Houston. She still had clinic and stuff um, after she was discharged, so um, they ha we had to keep her nearby. Yeah, she so. went home on oxygen and we were still weaning her off of pain medication. And we got her off of all narcotic medications in May. And the following month? And they finally said, June 3rd, y'all can go home. And we were in Texas for so long, we had to rent a U-Haul. What was it like crossing that Texas-Louisiana line? I cried. That was amazing. So, how are you doing since you had your surgery? Good. Holding Lucy, Ava, now five, converses easily. How do you cook the food in your playroom? I have a stove, and I make soup and stuff, and eggs. Well, little Ava, she's uh, one of my patients, and I followed her before transplant and then after transplant. He's thrilled with her progress. She's, she's doing wonderfully. We're all very happy with how she's been doing. She is her spunky self. She is a star here at the, at the hospital. Is miracle a big part of your vocabulary now? Oh, 100%. she's our miracle child. Oh, 100%. All we know is that it came from a five-year-old. A gift of life in action at the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation event. <laughs> Ava's army was out in force. My heart can't find the words. To see her happy and healthy is just the most amazing thing. It's the best feeling in the world. Organ donation is, is important for everybody, especially for children. It's, there's a, a, a big need. Um, there's kids on the list that are fighting for their second chance at life. This, this kid, I'm telling you, is gonna do big things in life. She wants to be a doctor. What would you say to a family in a similar situation, having to face that their young child has a life-threatening illness? Never give up. Never give up. No matter how dark it is. Because brighter days are possible. Say thank you, thank you. Am I beautiful? Very beautiful and very smart. Who's this smart like me? I'm Sabrina Wilson, Fox 8, Local First. Ava is on a strict regimen of anti-rejection medications and she recently had a follow-up uh, medical visit. Dr. Moreno McNeil says Ava will be returning at least every six months and will have follow-ups for the rest of her life. There's a GoFundMe page for Ava. You'll find information on that in our story on fox8live.com.